Assalamualaikum and hello everyone. I am Nur Shafina binti Muhammad Johari. Now you are watching a mathematics assignment. Uh, in this video, you are going to learn or make a revision about logarithm. Okay. First, I would like to introduce you about Tada law of logarithm. Okay. Uh, in there some law of logarithm which I took from my lecture note. Okay, if there is some lack of information, uh, that means my lecture note is not complete. Okay, <laughs> right. Okay, this is the law of logarithm that I have prepared. Okay, first, log B with A is equals to C is equivalent to B is equals to a to the power of c. Okay, uh, some might get confused with this law, uh, but the only thing that you need to remember is base will always be the base. Okay, just like this example, a for the log logarithm form, a is the base, and it is the same for uh, indices form that a will be the base too. Okay. okay, for the second law, log m base a is equal to log m base b over log a base b. Okay, uh, actually it is uh, not, uh, there is no value that uh, yang dah ditetapkan uh, for you uh, to put as the new base but uh, you can use any other values maybe you for this example you can put C or D or anything until Z or maybe you want to put uh, what Omega Alpha symbol or anything okay uh, it is uh, no need for you to choose B uh, just like number you can choose ad any other number okay for the third law, log m to the power of n base a is equal to n log m base a. Okay, for this law, uh, it is very simple. The power of the number uh, just you transfer it in front and it will become this. Okay, very simple. Okay, let's transfer to the fourth law. Okay, the fourth law is, okay, log m base a plus log n base a is equal to log m n base a. Okay, uh, and the fourth law is actually the same with the, uh, sorry, the fifth law and the last law is actually the same with the fourth law. That is, on the uh, changes, changing in the symbol and the form of uh, the answer okay uh, for the fifth law log m this a minus log n this a is equals to log m of n this a okay uh, it is actually uh, when uh, the, the equation is in plus it will the, the number at the back will you will what subtract no, it's not structure. Uh, you will direct. Okay, I forget. you will multiply it, right? Okay, and when the uh, symbol for the equation is minus, you will divide the number, the first and the last number. Okay, I'll I would like to give you some example. Uh, it's not uh, example for every law of indices that I had mentioned just now. But only uh, I think I will mention to you about the first law because it is a little bit hard and a little bit a little bit confusing. Okay, first, okay, the the uh, law, the first law is law. I write again, okay, law b base a is equal to c is equivalent to 
b is equal to e to the power of c. Okay, let's say I I I change uh, the indices form to the uh, log logarithm form. Okay, I would like to choose 3 to the power of 2 is equal to 9 is equivalent to 2 is equal to log 9 is 3. Okay. Why is the answer like this? Because log 9 is 3, you can change it to log 3 to the power of 2 is 3 and it will become 2. Okay, that's it. Okay, from uh, the law of logarithm, I will introduce you oh, blank paper. Okay, I will introduce you about the properties of logarithm. Can you see this? Okay, there are some properties that also been taken from my lecture note. So if there is lack of information, please. Uh, I apologize, okay, for uh, the first property, log, log A base A is equal to 1, okay, why is it like this, I will give you some proof, okay, first, log A base A is equal to 1, it can be like this, uh, by using the first law of indices, A is equal to a to the power of 1. a to the power of 1 is, is equal to a. So that is why it is, this is, uh, we get this kind of properties of logarithm. Okay, for uh, the second property, log a, log 1 base a is equal to 0. Okay, why is it becoming like this? Because, uh, Still, by using the first law of indices, 1 will equal to a to the power of 0. When uh, a to the power of 0, then this will become 1. Okay? Again, we get the proof. Okay, for the third, for the third law, okay, for the, sorry, for the third property, you can change it in the form of we can transfer the m to the front. This is the law of logarithm that I introduced just now. Okay, m m log a base a is equals to m, right? Okay, log a base a is equals to one. So therefore, m will equals to m. All right. And uh, for the fourth property, okay. A to the power of log M base A is equal to M. Okay, we can change it. Um, I, we can maybe we can bring this like uh, change the equation like this. Log M base A is equal to A to the power of M. But I can't see any. Um, how to say? Tak nampak macam mana dia boleh jadi macam ni So I'm not very sure about this property And the other property is Log A 1 over N is equal to negative log A N Okay, why is it becoming like this? Because Log Log A 1 over N is equal to Log A and to the power of negative 1. Negative 1, you bring it to the front. So it will equal to negative log a n. Okay, and the last property is log a m is equal to log a n if and only if m is equal to n. You can see the diff, uh, the, the, what? 
the summer M. So you can just cancel the lock and you will get M is equal to N. So it is same as this. Okay, that's all from me. Thank you.